this is uh, part one. I, I took that uh, trip up north, and so all that you're going to see is up until you get to the pond past the cove. And then tomorrow I'll put up the video that shows uh, from Glass Window Bridge, some other drone stuff I've got, and traveling around there. I figured it was better to split it into two than just do one. So this is part one. Well, I don't know what today is going to be like. The wind was dead calm a little while ago. Now the wind's up, but I'm going to head down to uh, uh, French Leave and see if I can get some uh, drone footage down there. I don't know if the color will be good, bad, or what. It's sort of gotten cloudy, of course, as the wind, as the clouds have come in, the wind has come up. I'm sure there's a correlation there. down because it was starting to spit again and I was like no I don't I don't need that so I took it down back to the house you know one of the things I um, didn't mention or anything but for those of you who do have uh, drones and use them I, you know I find this is just my experience but I find that pretty much if I'm in the I'd say 90% of the time I'm well below a hundred feet there's sometimes that I'll I'll go up to 400, but not very. You know, it's just that long shot type thing. Most of the time, I find you get the best footage in that 50 to 100 feet. Does the job beautifully. Uh, I know everybody says, "Oh, I you know want to go high, high." I, you, I don't know. I don't get the the same results I don't like the way it comes out all of those kind of things so generally speaking I'd say 90% of the time it's in the um, under 100 foot range once in a while I get to uh, 150 maybe 200 and very rarely do I go to 400 I'm trying to shoot some good footage I don't the goal is not to see how high I can get so just one of those things that I do just spinning but still uh, I don't need to put the drone up when it's raining in any size shape or form Well, 
Well, I'm headed out again. I think I'm going to head north. I'm going to stop for some gas. And uh, I've got the drone and the Osmo with me, so not a ton to carry, plus this iPhone. So we'll see if we can get some shots we can use for today, later, etc. Okay, I had a half a tank of gas, and in the Mini Pajero, I don't know, it's probably a two gallon tank. It's not very big, it's bigger than that. But anyway, half a tank in this little car down here is, was $23. I think it's up to $475 or $485, I should have looked. But it seemed to have gone up, I think it was $65 or $75 last week. Okay, this is shot with the iPhone. I think there's a big difference between the iPhone and the Osmo. So next I'll shoot with the uh, Osmo. Okay, this is the Osmo shooting now. That last view you saw was the view, and unfortunately, you know, you can't get it as good when you're on the ground, but when you fly into Governors, um, that water over there is just unbelievable. But I can't put the drone up. I mean, it's right in the runway path. I would never do it. The only way was if I knew for certain 110% that there were no flights, nobody coming in, etc. So this is as good as we can get with that. I think the three speed bumps in Hatchet Bay on Queens Highway are probably the worst ones on the island. That's my opinion. I think 
they need a little more, more fill on this road. Huh. I was going to go up there. Huh. It's just washed right through. The water's actually running. That's very odd. How is it running? Do they get rain up here? This is not spring-fed, I don't think. Very strange. Thank you.